Hi and welcome back. Today it's time for a comparison and we are doing a comparison between Tom Ford's Ombre Leather The Original and Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. If you are into leather fragrances, these are two of the best leather fragrances that you have to try. But the question is, do you need both? Should you have both the original and should you also have the Ombre Leather Parfum, the one that came out later? I usually describe the original as a fragrance that is like raw leather. This is the scent of beautiful raw leather, just as it is. It's bold, it's masculine, it has this unique scent. So even though it is a straight up leather fragrance, it's not too much. So in the opening, you get this raw leather, but you also get a note of cardamom, a soft cardamom. And some people can even smell some violet in the opening. And I really get what that's coming from. In the midst, you have this dark, deep leather scent. And that is accompanied by some jasmine. And jasmine as a slight floral touch and a bit of sweetness. So in the base, there is amber, moss and patchouli, which gives it this slightly animalic, but also earthy touch. This has an amazing performance. It stays on for so long and it leaves a scent trail that is just wonderful. And it projects pretty good around you. But when you have had it on for a couple of hours, it's not all out there. It's more of a wonderful, strong skin scent. This is perfect for fall and winter. It can be overpowering in the summertime. And I think you should wear this to formal occasions or like semi-formal locations and definitely for nighttime. So moving on to the Parfum, which of course has a lot of similarities with the original. So Parfum versions are often more rich and intense. It's more concentrated and it's like a richer variation of the original. So this opens up with a wonderful note of cedar, but here you also have the violet leaf, which some even pick up in the original. But here you actually have violet leaf in the top notes. The middle notes are just jasmine and orris giving it this white floral but also sweet powdery scent and in the base leather woody notes and tobacco so this sure has a lot of the original dna but this also has other nuances that makes it even more interesting parfums often has a greater longevity and a stronger projection because it has a higher concentration of perfume oils and that is also the case with ombre leather parfum even though the original is beast mode this is even a bit stronger. So the Parfum is like the original, perfect for fall and winter, but this is even better for formal events when you want a scent that is lasting and impactful. So Tom Ford, the original ombre leather, is perfect for fall, winter, for formal events where you want a scent that really stands out. And if you like the scent of leather. And I would say that it's the same for Tom Ford Ombre Leather. It's very much like the original, but it offers this more rich and intense kind of scent. I also think that the floral aspect and that the powdery touch makes it slightly better than the original. I think you can't go wrong with any of these two because they are fabulous leather fragrances. But if I'd had to choose one and I could only have that one I would go for the parfum and it's because it has so much of the original DNA in it but it also has this really luxurious vibe that is just wonderful which one is your favorite tell me in the comments like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more fragrance reviews and please tell me in the comments if there are other comparisons that you would like me to do thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time